just before we start, I'm going to put the example down. You're going to write it down on your paper and you're going to see what can you do. I'm going to try and lead you, but you're going to see with what I've taught you now, would you be able to fill in Danex, Isimix over Kha'Zix? Would you be able to find LCDs? And here comes the sun. I'm quite excited to see if people can get to the answer. We have to show that. As I am writing this down, I want you to write it down as well. Even though you have it in your book, you're still going to write it down because you're going to try and do it by yourself. 1 over 1 minus cos x minus 1 over 1 plus cos x. And this must be equal to 2 over sin x tan x. I must prove this. I must prove that my left-hand side is equal to my right-hand side. Before you start, please, everybody, 1 minus cos x is not an identity. You don't see a square there. 1 plus cos x is not an identity. You don't see a square there. If it was, like I started when I did identities, if it's 1 minus cos squared theta, then you can substitute it to be sin squared theta. If it was 1 minus cos squared, then it is sin squared. You don't see the square there, so it's not an identity. I'm going to give you a hint. You must try and find an LCD. I'm going to let you find the LCD quickly by yourself. Work on the left-hand side alone. Right, you're working on the left-hand side. Work on the left-hand side alone. I'm going to give you a minute or two and just see if you have, if you can get to the answer. Some of you are saying that you haven't received the books yet, but don't worry, that is why I'm writing the question down for you. So even though you don't have the books, you have the example, that's why I said bring your notebooks, bring your pens, write the examples down. Even if you don't have the book, I'm writing the examples down for you so that you can also have it. Okay, there is... Is sin x plus cos x equal to 1? Not at all. I'm just going to take this sum away quickly. Somebody's asked me, ma'am, is sin x plus cos x equal to 1? Let me just see who this comes from. Um, Bonga, you are saying is the ident in the identities, is sin x plus cos x equal to 1? Not at all. There has to be a square. Sin squared plus cos squared is 1. Please, Bonga, this is important. Please. Um, there's some people. I'm going to see somebody says, ma'am, this was a horrible sum. It's difficult. Don't worry. The more you work, the more you're going to understand. Remember, ma maths comes through practice. Thank you, Ashwin. Ashwin saying, ma'am, you look pretty. Thank you, Ashwin. I wish I could see you. I bet you look pretty as well. Let's go to our sum again. 1 over 1 minus cos x minus 1 plus cos x equal to 2 over sin x tan x. Right, I hope by now you have something. At least you have something. I'll be so happy. What is your LCD? 1 minus cos x. It's 1 minus cos x multiplied by 1 plus cos x. That is your LCD. I told you in the previous sum, remember, the LCD is everything at the bottom. Long line. Can I drop this LCD? No ways. I'm working on the left-hand side. Can't drop the LCD. I'm working on the left-hand side. Now, slowly. Once I've chosen my LCD, what do I have here that I do not have there? What do I have in my LCD? that I do not have there. 1 plus cos x. What must I do with my 1 plus cos x? Times by the number on top, or the term on top. Now that is just a 1. If I have 1 plus cos x, and I times by 1, it remains 1 plus cos x. Watch what I do, everybody. I put my minus down, 1, and I'm ready to multiply. What do I have in my LCD that I do not have there, 1 minus cos x. And what must I do with the 1 minus cos x? Times it by the number on top. That's why I put down negative 1 there, negative 1 
multiply by 1 minus cos x. Come I do the top part again. What is my LCD? 1 minus cos x, 1 plus cos x. What do I have in my LCD that I do not have there? 1 plus cos x. What must I do with the 1 plus cos x? Times by the 1. Now we go to the second fraction. What do I have in my LCD that I do not have there? 1 minus cos x, and I must times it by negative 1. So it's negative 1 times by 1 minus cos x. What is my goal? I want to get to my right-hand side. I'm still far from the grade 12s. Don't give up. We just started. I'm going to take that negative 1 into my bracket, and I'm going to take the negative 1 into my negative cos x. Please follow me. This is 1 plus cos x. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. And negative 1 times negative cos x is positive cos x. Again, can I drop this LCD? No. You are working on your left-hand side and you're not trying to solve for x. Keep your LCD. What am I going to do? I'm going to multiply out my LCD. I'm going to FOIL 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. 1 times cos x is cos x. Negative cos times 1 is negative cos x. And last but not least, negative cos times positive cos is negative cos squared x. I multiplied my LCD. I did it slowly with you. 1 times 1, 1 times cos x, negative cos x times 1, and negative cos times cos. I'm now going to try and get to the right-hand side. 1 and the minus 1 cancels. Slowly, guys. What is cos x plus cos x? 2 cos x. And I have at the bottom, please everybody, I'm not dropping my LCD. I'm going to repeat this. You're going to get tired of me saying it, but you guys drop it in the exam. I don't know why, so don't drop it. The plus cos and the minus cos x cancel. What do I have left? That one there minus cos squared x. Hope you're still following me. I'm working very, very, very slowly. How did I get that negative 1 in the middle, somebody's asking me? I said negative 1 times that 1 gives me this negative 1. Remember, you took what you do not have in the LCD and you times it by negative 1. So negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative cos is positive cos x. Everybody seems to be following me. I can see there's no question so far. So I have... 2 cos x, I can't do anything, divided by, now, can I now say that 1 minus cos squared is sin squared, come we go to our, our, our identities, look here everybody, 1 minus cos squared is sin squared, 1 minus cos squared is sin squared, so what am I going to do, I'm going to replace 1 minus cos squared, by what? by sin squared x. Not on the right-hand side yet. Now you must think, what can I do? What can I do? Right, just look what I'm going to do. I'm going to say that this is 2 cos x divided by, I've got sin x there, times another sin x. That's why I have sin squared x. Do you agree with me? 2 cos x, sin x, and sin x. Grade 12, just look at this. You know, write this down, please write this down somewhere. What do you know? You know that sin x over cos x is equal to tan x. So what will cos x over sin x be? 1 over tan x. Remember the tan x comes down to the bottom if it's swapped around. So look what we have. Grade 12, look. I have the 2 there over I've got cos x over sin x, but I have to put it at the bottom of my line because I've got cos x over sin x. So then I have my tan x at the bottom times sin x. And this is equal to my right hand side. Very important. Look at this. I hope you wrote this down. Sin x over cos x is tan x. Cos x over sin x. If it's swapped around, 
it is 1 over the tan of x. So look at my sum again. Look at this carefully. I had sin squared at the bottom. I wrote it as sin x times sin x. What did I see? I saw that I've got cos x over sin x. I put my tan x at the bottom and that sin x was there. And I now have my right hand side. Just to end off, come I just want to show you something again. Write this down again. Sin x over cos x is equal to the tan of x. Cos x over sin x, remember it's being reciprocated, is 1 over tan x. So if I had a 2 there, I say it is 2 over the tan of x. It says that I am 2, if I have that, I can say 2 over the tan of x. Very important and very important again. If I have sin squared plus cos squared, I can say it's equal to 1. Can I say sin theta plus cos theta is not equal to 1? Why can't I say that? Because I don't have squares and I don't have a square. Let me just see if I have any questions with regards to the identities before we end off. That was the last example that I did with you this afternoon. I just want to see if I have any questions while I'm waiting for the questions.